Hey everybody, welcome to CR Anti Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn the modeling trick. Without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, you need to add a cylinder. So Shift A and then add a cylinder, and we will go with the 64 words. Then go to the orthographic view, and then you need to scale the cylinder along the z-axis. So S and then Z, and scale it along the z-axis as like this. Then you need to go to the edit mode and then turn on this extra mode select these words and then e to extrude these words along the z axis and then scale it down like this and same thing at the bottom also e to extrude it and then scale it down like this then you can select this top and bottom faces and you can delete them i can create a similar kind of details with the help of cylinder but that will be more difficult step difficult process so rather than going with the cylinder i have decided to go with the rounded cube so shift a add the rounded cube and here you need to choose the operator preset capsule okay as like this you can see here and we will go with the four arc that four subdivisions okay now you need to select that capsule and then bring that capsule little bit outside like this at here and then you need to scale it down that capsule like this okay that's pretty well you can turn on your wireframe mode rather than scaling it just need to go to the edit mode select these words and then move them along the z-axis as like this and then select these words and then move them along the z-axis as like this and keep it somewhere here that's pretty fine the next thing you need to use the boolean operation at here so select this capsule then select this cylinder and here i'm going to use the advanced boolean add-on so i can press alt x and then it, there is an option which is difference it will create a boolean on it now just i need to apply that boolean modifier so i can go to the modifier tab and then hit apply then you can hide this capsule we don't need this capsule and now you need to create the right topology on the model so you can select this and go to the edit mode and now just you need to give the right position to the words first i will use the knife tool at here and i will select this point so i need to create one edge so i can select this point and then press x and then press c and create a cut like this then select that edge loop and double tap g for the edge slide little bit okay that's pretty fine and you can see select these points and then right click connect vertex path and then you can dissolve that edge loop okay as like this you can see after that just i need to add the loop cuts more loop cuts to support this structure so i can use the knife tool one more time here select this point and then press x and then c and then hit enter now you can select everything and then take the mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x-axis same step we need to do at the bottom side you need to select the first point then press x and then c and then hit enter okay now the next thing I can select these words, right click, connect vertex path. Select these words, right click, connect vertex path. And then I can control X to dissolve this edge loop. Control X to dissolve this edge loop. You can see there are double words at somewhere. Select these words, control X to dissolve them. Okay, now you can select everything and then mesh and then take the symmetry along the X axis. We need to go to the one more time to the edit mode and we need to create a cut like this to create that loop structure. So you can see I have created the simple loop structure at there. So just merge these words at the center and then select everything mesh and then take the symmetry. And that will be pretty easy. And now just need to use the knife tool one more time.
Okay, now we can add the sub D modifier. So just add that subdivision surface modifier and we are facing the hell lots of difficulties at there because I don't know why. Because there are double words uh, and we didn't merge the words. So select everything, press M and merge by distance. You can see remove two vertices, but still it's not pretty fine. So that's why you need to add the loop cut like this and take this loop cut at here. Let's see right now. Yeah, it's okay. We need to go to the here and maybe the normals are turned on here so just auto smooth turn off and that's pretty well and then increase the sub D count here and similarly you need to add one loop cut at here so add the loop cut like this there is no such a weird shading we can see on this model so it is pretty well 